Ed Stacey's with me here in the studio this afternoon from Capital Network. Ed, good to see you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're talking Grits Real Estate Income Group, and for Ed's full report, do click on the I in the top right-hand corner of your screen. A, uh, a full-year trading update for the year, the 12 months to the end of June 2019, Ed. How's the year been? Um, so good progress. It's, as you know, the leading pan-African real estate company, and this is their first financial year end since they acquired, since they got their London listing back in August last year. Uh, and in terms of what they've reported, it's delivering on expectations, 12% total shareholder return as targeted, uh, and the dividend will be increasing as they promised. Um, but also within the, uh, within the statement, they're talking about some of the measures that they're looking at to further drive shareholder value creation going forward. So some interesting measures in there. And so they're not just sort of resting on their laurels here after a successful year. Well, what are some of these measures? Um, well, firstly, looking at both ends of the sort of real estate value chain. Primarily at the moment, they are just a property owner, but they also have the potential to do more in the property developing and then more in the asset managing end of things. In the property developing, they're looking at various opportunities for risk limited participation uh, in property developing. Uh, and then in the asset managing, they can do asset management for their own portfolio, but also for third party or for jointly owned. And then that's giving you just pure fee income, no capital required. So that's an interesting development as well. And then perhaps the biggest thing of all, though, is simply expanding the portfolio. They talk about a pipeline for new property acquisitions of $600 million, compared to the existing portfolio is about $800 million. So we're talking sort of almost doubling the portfolio size. So uh, a big sort of pipeline of activity that they're talking about there. Well, as you pointed out at the start, in less than a year since coming to the London market, they're making some ambitious moves now. What, why do you reckon they're choosing to do this at this present time? Well, I mean, you could say, uh, why not just keep turning the handle, keep doing what you're doing? They, they're giving a 9% dividend yield. So this is a fantastic dividend yield payer as well as uh, generating capital returns on their portfolio. So why not just keep churning the handle, keep doing what you're doing? But I think the answer is there's big demand from the tenant base. These big multinational companies don't want to own and operate their own property, whether we're talking offices, corporate accommodation, warehousing. They want somebody to be the owner and manager of the property. So they've got this big multinational client base. They've got demand, more properties wanted from the existing clients as well as from other multinationals. And they can see that they're going to generate great returns on these investments. So the answer, you know, why why do this now and why not if there's if the opportunity is there and it's, and it's going to create value? Ed, thanks very much. Thank you. And for Ed's full report, click on the I in the top right-hand corner of your screen.